So we'll start off with the first question. If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I would go to Europe and I would travel to like the three different areas that I really want to go is Paris, Rome, and Italy. And I think I heard that you can like take a train uh, to either one or all of those. So I really want to do that. I don't know why a train ride sounds like so fun to me, but I want to do that. Um, if you give me any three people dead or alive, who would you want to meet? Um, Ashton Kutcher, he's my celebrity crush. He is also like a very nice person, I think. Um, I feel like he's really down to earth and like he's funny and easy to talk to. So I would want to meet him. Uh, Freddie Mercury from Queen. He just really interests me and I love Queen. So I would want to meet him. He also seems like a good time. Um, and my third one would be my great grandma who I'm named after um, because I just hear a lot of stories of her and she sounds like, she sounds like me. So I would want to meet her. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Chick-fil-A number one, which is a Chick-fil-A sandwich and fries uh, with a Coke with mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and ranch. If you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? I watch a lot of Naked and Afraid, so I feel like I'm prepared for this. A fire starter because I am not like rubbing sticks together for hours and hours and hours. Um, also, I would bring a machete because I can't make a spear. And number three, probably some rope of some kind, like a really long rope so that I could make myself um, a like fort or um, like a shelter, a shelter. So those are the three things that I would bring. What advice would you give to your past self? Um, try not to care as much as what people think. Um, do what makes you happy and try not to overthink and be so anxious about all of the decisions that you make because it's going to be okay. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve? Probably whenever I'm trying to talk and people either cut me off, start asking questions in the middle of me saying something, um, or just like interrupt me or act like I'm not even talking. I just think it's rude. And also I have a really bad memory, so I'm probably not going to remember what I was just talking about. So you better listen the first time. Um, what would be one superpower you would choose to have? Definitely being invisible. Um, I think there's a big debate between invisibility and flying. Invisibility. If you're picking flying, that's wrong. Um, you don't really need to fly if you're invisible. You can just go wherever you want and be invisible and listen. And I'm also really nosy, so I would love to be able to be invisible and, you know, be up in people's houses, just listening to things that they're saying, stuff like that. What's your goal for where you'll be from three years from today? I hope that I have another baby by then. I have a two-year-old. Um, so I hope that I have one more. I, I really want three or four kids, but in three years, I think one more is manageable. Um, I also hope that I can move back to like an area that has more land. Um, we moved from a farm to the house that we're currently in. And I love the house that we're in, but the neighbor situation, like our house is not uh, our houses aren't on top of each other, but like I feel like I can't go outside Because my neighbors are watching me and I think that's just because I'm anxious But you know, I don't want people looking and watching me swing my daughter on her swing I don't know why that seems so embarrassing to me, but I want to move to a farm I want to have my own animals that I can raise and um, Process myself not myself, have someone else process it for me, but I wanna raise the animals. That way I know where all of my food is sourced from. And I wanna have a giant like vegetable garden and get all of my food um, right from where I live. So 
that is where I hope to be in three years. Um, when did you first go viral? I think it was January or February of 2021. It was for my daughter's gender reveal. Um, it was about, I had like everybody had a cake pop, they were all vanilla and then one of the cake pops had um, whatever color the gender was. And um, so they all like took a bite of the cake pop and then we waited until I knew who had the cake pop with the color. It was my sister. Um, so we all had to go around and wait until um, she got the color. And funny story, I was trying to get her to be like in the middle so I didn't have to go around the whole, like every single person that was there. But she was like, no, I wanna sit here, blah, blah, blah. So she just coincidentally happened to be the very last one and also the person that ate the cake pop was my dad and I was not mad about that but there were very many people that were very upset that my dad ate the whole cake pop but it's all good I knew who had it that would have been terrible if he did have it but he did not that's why he didn't get that one who were the first creators you followed on social media I'm gonna take it all the way back to my Vine days because I feel like TikTok and Vine are kind of similar. Um, but Jimmy Merle, I don't know why he sticks out in my head so much. He is just, I don't know why I would scroll through his videos and just laugh so hard, like till my stomach hurt because he was just so funny. Like, and he didn't try to be funny and I think that's why he's so funny. Him and I don't know why I remember this, but I remember following, I think, Sean Mendez, like before he was Sean Mendez. And he would just like play his guitar and sing to the camera. And I don't, I, those were the two that stick out in my head. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? Um, a lot of people might not know this, but I am a nurse practitioner. Um, I just got a job as a nurse practitioner like two months ago, so like in February. Um, and that is my long-term career path. I went to school for two years and then I went to get, um, I went to get my undergrad for four years and then I worked as a nurse while I was getting my uh, degree. So it took a lot for me to get here and now that I'm here, this is what I'm choosing. And yeah, social media is just something that I do for fun. If you could travel anywhere, where would you choose? I kind of already answered this, but I'm going to add a couple more because I love to travel. And I've only ever been out of the country one time and it was for my honeymoon. I went to St. Lucia and it was beautiful. Um, but I really want to go to Ireland. Don't know why, just feel like that would be a really beautiful place to go. Uh, Greece, also a really beautiful place to go. I want to go to Mexico, um, probably Cabo. And then we have a couple of friends who we've always talked about going to Germany for Oktoberfest. Um, so I really want to go and do that because it just seems like a great time. I love beer and I love pretzels, so I would love Oktoberfest, I think. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Hands down, Christmas. If it's not your favorite holiday, that's sad because I just love Christmas. I love Christmas like at Thanksgiving time too. Like I am team Christmas after Thanksgiving. Wait, no. I think I skip over Thanksgiving. I skip over Thanksgiving and I go straight to Christmas. I'm that one. So, which one of your accomplishments are you proudest of? I would say I have two big accomplishments that I'm the proudest of. The first one is um, giving birth to my daughter because I was so scared. I did not think that I was going to be able to do that. Like, it's just overwhelming all of the stories that you get when you're pregnant and um, most of them are horror stories. I don't know why everyone rushes to tell you their horror stories about their birth. Mine was great. Um, but I was still really scared. So um, that was very accomplishing that I could do that. So that's my number one. And then my number two is probably um, becoming a nurse practitioner. When I was in nursing school, I remember like taking my test 
my nursing test or whatever and sitting there thinking I will never go back to school because I have such terrible test anxiety. Um, so I am really proud of myself for making myself go back to school and bettering myself um, to get to be where I am today. And so yeah, that is it.